So let's talk about 2024, mostly for my real estate agents, but just going into the year, right? Let's just uh, look into what we plan on doing next year, right? Not necessarily only for agents, but just how to be more productive. You know, this is the time of year when people start thinking about diet plans, um, career goals, relationship goals. You know, they're looking at the previous year and saying, I could have done things better. And now they're planning ahead and hoping to do things better moving forward, right? I would say just a few tips to have a more productive um, 2024. Just stop saying what you're going to do and do it, right? The Nike slogan, just do it. You know, talk is cheap. Action, action. We hear all these cliches, but they really mean a lot. Actions speak louder than words. Stop saying it. Stop planning it. Stop talking about it. There's, I don't know who said this, but it was so powerful when I heard it. And I was joking about this with my niece after Thanksgiving, dropping her back off at college. And she had told me some plans of things she wanted to do. So I was like, just following up on her. How, how is that going? Oh, I haven't had time to do it yet. I was so busy with school and trying to get a job when I got to campus, you know, and I understand, you know, but I don't understand. So I had to say, you know, you were talking about this goal and, and, and it's a goal you, you, you had plans to achieve, right? So I mentioned this quote that I heard and I don't know, I, I would like to give credit to who I heard it from, but I don't know. If you know who said it, please write it down in the comment section below. But he said, uh, uh, talking about the thing is not doing the thing, right? Texting people about the thing is not doing the thing. Planning on how you're going to do the thing is not doing the thing. Posting on social media about how you're going to do the thing is not doing the thing. Writing about how you're going to do the thing is not doing the thing. Thinking about doing the thing is not doing the thing. Doing it, only doing it matters at the end of the day. And that's what separates winners from losers. Just doing it is what matters. So I had to, I had to pull a card like, hey, you said you were going to do it, do it. No excuses, right? Um, life doesn't stop. You know, you had a goal. You actually invested in the goal. You wanted this, this, and that to get, get it all set up. And now you're not doing it. And then the year is almost over, right? So only doing counts talking is useless quite frankly and i would say going into 2024 cut off dead weight dead weight what's dead weight you're talking about some friends you know my dad always used to tell me show me your friends and i'll tell you who you are you know, birds are the same feather flock together. You lie down with dogs, you get up with fleas. These were all his sayings, right? You know, and I just think about it. Even when somebody calls me, I'm on the phone. Uh, I'm just thinking about the conversation and I'm like, I got to get off this call, you know. Or I'm in the middle of work. I think it was, I don't want to be wrong, either Earl Nightingale or Dale Carnegie, one of their books where I read or heard him say, cut off the short talk, especially at work. You're trying to be productive people want to do small talk this is what this is what they said they said nobody is going to hate you for telling them excuse me but I got to get back to work you don't have to be rude when you say these things but just be polite but firm excuse me I need to get back to work so many people always got small talk especially now there's football going on there's basketball going on so if you're getting any value from this video, make sure you like and subscribe. It would help the channel grow. The algorithm is telling me that over 90% of those watching are not subscribed. So please make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much. There's the economy going on, there's the war in Israel going on, there's so much going on. People always want to stop you and chit chat. You know, the water cooler talk, you know. It's always good. You need you need to have what we call an elevator speech. You know, you meet an executive in the elevator and you just have some, a few words to say. It's always good to have a few things to say. You don't want to be standoffish. You don't want to come across as such. But at the same time, some people always go on and go on and go on. And sometimes you notice you're trying to walk away there following you, just talking. you like, dude, you know, I got to get back to work, you know? So cut off dead weight. That could be friends. So Social media, social media is big that way for almost everybody, myself included, and it's something I've, I've tried my best to work on and I'm working on. Um, everybody has what works for them. Some is Twitter, some is YouTube, some it's Facebook, some it's Instagram, some is Snapchat. There's so many of them now, right? Well, X. 
no longer Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever, um, and then more popping up every day. Be gold. You just see every day there's a new app, right? Um, stop scrolling. Scrolling isn't doing the work, right? <laughs> um, oh yeah, they said researching about doing the work is not doing the work. Only doing the work is doing the work. So just cut off dead weight, cut up friends that want to talk a lot. As I said, show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. If your friends are not going anywhere, what makes you think you're going to go somewhere? You know, you can't go it says two cannot walk together unless being in agreement, right? So we can't be going in the same direction if you're slacking and hanging out and I'm trying to work. Just naturally, the natural order of things will push us further and further apart. You hear it all the time. Best friends become strangers. Nothing wrong with that. You don't hate this person. You're just going in a different place. You can always come back and check in with them later, but set aside this time to just get to where you're trying to go, right? Um, b um Stop doing busy work and unnecessary meetings you know there's a meeting for this meetings and is not doing the work all these planning on how we're going to do the work ain't doing the work don't get it wrong i read um a book called the monday morning leadership one of my managers gave me that book when i was first getting into management they were trying to help me out as far as being a mentor and it is it is said i don't know how true it is but 20 minutes of planning saves an hour of working right so in order to be efficient you have to plan plan but um stop doing busy and unnecessary work all these unnecessary meetings and you just listen in the meetings and they're talking about so many things that are really not productive how are we going to get productive and make things happen you know um a regional manager did a visit a few years back and said to us chase the big rock you know chase the big rocks in real estate we call them um revenue generating uh, activities when you wake up and you know there's so many Apps, so many books on being productive, so many strategies on uh, prioritizing. But one simple way to just do it is is just write down your things to do. You know, you got your long term list, your mid term, and then your short term list. And when you wake up, you just write down what you plan on doing today, and it should correlate with your mid term or short term goals, so on and so forth. Once you write them down, just circle the key things that are really going to move the needle. You know. Not everything is going to move the needle. Not everything is going to generate revenue or get you where you need to go. So only focus on those. Chase the big rocks. You know, some people, some people that know me know this about me, right? I got a short fuse for those attention to detail people. Not to say that's not ne that's not necessary, but sometimes moving count, getting things done counts. And here you are stuck in in making sure it's like you got OCD or something. You're trying to make sure this thing is lined up so perfectly and I've gotten 10 done already like come on you know just you got you know it's key to be detailed I get it but in certain areas keep going keep moving that matters that matters right rather than being stuck here having analysis paralysis and you're stuck trying to review and plan and strategize and this and this dude let's just get to it you know so at some point you got to get to it nothing wrong with being detailed Honestly, I got books on books right here just lined up with breaking down things I'm going to do. So I definitely plan I get I get that, right? I, I don't want to um, get far off course, but it's all, let me see, all, you know, I draw the grids and I check them off. This is something I do tracking different, different activities, you know, on multiple books, right? As far as, that's just, those that know me know that about me. So I plan, I'm not saying don't plan, but at some point we got to get going, you know? And I just hate, I don't want to say hate, but I always try to tell people you're not being productive by just thinking and talking and planning and strategizing and researching let's let's make the move and, and um, you want to track your numbers you know the saying goes what gets measured gets accomplished however be aware beware of analysis paralysis constantly checking your numbers and you're stuck there and then you find out your entire day is gone and you didn't get anything done but now you know why you're not getting anything done that isn't getting it done you know what I suggest is periodically check your your numbers set a wait time for that maybe once a month 
or quarterly, right? This gives you enough time to actually gather da data and then you can go and adjust accordingly. You review and adjust accordingly. Sometimes you may need to um, go back to the drawing board and, and scrap that whole plan. It doesn't matter, but give yourself some time to gather enough information and then analyze accordingly, right? Um, they say don't count the days, make the days count. We all know that person who always were going to start something. Always. They tell you, oh, by this time next year I'll do this and this time next year comes and you're like what's going on with that oh no this came up and that came up but they never get to what they say they're gonna do right don't count the days make the days count today like I said just get to it that's the theme get to it make the days count there's so many sayings about that right Rome was not built in a day so why are you thinking about this grandiose plan and, and, and everything it's not gonna happen if you don't move the needle so get going get going stop talking about it that's the that's the key right you you have to set away time to review and plan and organize but but we spent too much time on that and not enough time on, on making things happen like i said the saying goes rome wasn't built in a day to build a mansion you gotta lay the first brick to run a marathon you gotta take the first step and it was a poem uh, we used to recite when we were kids right little drops of water little grains of sand make a mighty the ocean in a glorious land slowly and slowly you just chop chop keep chopping wood right keep stacking days slowly and slowly and when you look back you'll see the progress that's all i have to say about 2024 going into the new year stop talking about it you know just it's 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 the year is long but it's very short when we're at the end of 2023 you just think to yourself man this year just started and it's already over but in through the course of the year it's a long time so I know you got all this zeal. I'm glad this came to mind. Don't be too high or too low. When you get too high, you get caught up in the euphoria. You're celebrating too much. That can be a distraction. Even when you get a win. You know, like Barry Sanders, when he used to run into the end zone, he didn't celebrate too much. It's like you've been there before. You need to have that kind of mindset. It helps you. So it's like a dopamine hit, right? When you get that, what goes up must come down like an adrenaline junkie. You get the adrenaline rush and you come crashing. You don't want to be like that. Being even kill is better. Also, don't get too down. Don't be too hard on yourself. You're going to have plans and it's not always going to succeed. But when you start ruminating about what went wrong and you're beating yourself up, then you see months are going by and you're not getting things done. So don't let anything get you too down and don't let anything get you too, too up. Don't feel too much about yourself because when things don't go wrong you can you can come crashing tremendously when you think it's all because of you and also when you don't have high expectations you're always down that doesn't help either so what i say is be even keel C celebrate your wins and then get right back to it it's always good to celebrate your wins you know you work hard you deserve it but don't bask in it and, and, and prolong celebration that is a distraction as well but at the same time don't be too stressed and depressed to the point of of um where you can't function either. Don't let anything get you too high or too low. When a win happens, keep it in your mind. Okay, it's a win, I need to get back to task. When something bad happens, this is life. Hills and valleys, I need to get back to task. That's what I'll say, that's that's a key. And that's something I had to learn because I've had high highs and I've had low lows. And too much of celebrating a, a win you look back and then you're not winning consistently, right? And too down or too hard on yourself when things go wrong, sometimes even beyond your control. And you're beating yourself up and then days and days are going by and you're not getting back to it. So be even killed. Be very mindful of the euphoria of, of celebrating too much and also the depression of sobbing in a loss. Life, life is going to be up and down no consistent form of life. At least I'm not aware of it. You go up and down. What needs to be consistent is how you react to it. All right. Well, I hope that helped. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you found it informative. My contact information is in the description below. Send me a text or an email because I'd love to help you with your real estate needs.
Thanks for watching the video. Hope you found it informative. My contact information is in the description below. Send me a text or an email because I'd love to help you with your real estate needs. Thank you.